right, we're here in Lexington, Kentucky still. We just now got done training. We're at Dawson Family Chiropractic. I'm coming in here to get an adjustment. I normally do this every, um, I'd like to come every week, but it doesn't sometimes work out for me, sometimes every two weeks. You know, you see a lot of guys getting chiropractic work and, you know, I'm only 25 and I don't have any injuries. However, you know, I get massage and I get chiropractic work to stay, keep all my joints and everything healthy. It's not a matter of having an injury, it's a matter of injury prevention for the future to make sure that, you know, the longevity of the sport, you know, everything stays healthy, everything stays moving. You know, I want to be able to catch something before it actually happens. So, you know, I want to make sure I'm taking care of myself. So I'm going to go in here, have my back, my neck, and my spine looked at and get adjusted and it will hopefully feel a lot better when I walk out. How are you feeling man? Pretty good. I doing well. We just got done training. Okay, what are you having pain today? Um, not really too much pain. You know, we're gonna go through I guess the lower back adjustments, making sure the hips and everything are in line. Okay. You know, uh, being as I've always had a problem with that. Yeah, we'll check that out. Go ahead and go face down for me. We'll check your leg lengths first, just to see if that that ilium's moved on us, and it's it's back out again. You got that short right leg like you always do, Justin. Slide down on the table about two inches. All right. So you're gonna do that table pop. We're gonna get that hip moved up. Here we go. All right. Here it comes. Do a couple of those. Stay there for just a second. Let me recheck. It's closer. Uh, keep your leg straight for me. Pick up this whole leg off the table for me, and let it back down. Other side for me. It's one side harder. Um, maybe this side. Right side again. Yep. Cross this over just like this. I'm gonna do a couple more drops. Okay, you can let that down. That's better. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and get you on your side facing. We'll get a little more pull back. There we go. Did you train today? Yeah, I just finished some legs. Okay. Let that relax for me. Let's go to the other side. This knee up for me. Let's get real close. I'm going to push just a little bit. Try and let that relax right there. A little pressure. Right there. Lakers. And go on your back for me. Check your neck out. I'll do a little bit in your upper back here in just a second. So tender? Um, not really. Okay. One little spot there. Good. Let that relax. Good. Stay right there. I'm gonna do one last adjustment that mid back. Go ahead and cross your arms for me. Get this one over top here. Squeeze right there. I want to reach underneath your upper back. There it goes. Good. Good. Come on up in. How you feel? Feels pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's full spine adjustment. A little bit of. Uh, he's got a lot of little back problems, pelvic problem. So we did a lot of adjustments on that. And then we hit an area that has a little bit of stress or a little bit of misalignment in it. And you always start at the feet? Depends on the patient, but usually I'll start with pelvis and work up, depending on depending on the patient. But if they have a pelvic problem, I like to start face down and find the problem and try to fix that first. I see a, a tougher patient than most because of the size. Actually, no, uh, because he exercises and stays fit, his joints are healthier than most. So actually, uh, even though they get stuck a step at times, they usually move better. Uh, the one negative thing with with guys in general is bigger muscles can result in big muscles are good when they're good. But when they go bad, they go real bad because it's a big, strong muscle. So, if you had a pulled hamstring or anything before, if you ever had a muscle injury, uh, yeah, I had a little bit in there before. Because they can be really slow to heal if they're big. So, the yeah. bigger the muscle, when it goes bad, the harder it is to fix it sometimes because it's such a big, strong muscle pulling on things. So, and a lot of men, like construction workers, guys with big, strong backs, it takes a while to fix those because those big, strong muscles are fighting against what we're trying to change.